My name is Joe Candio. I am a tribally enrolled member of the Pasqua Yaqui tribe of Arizona. Some of the things that we're actually going to be doing, and uh, this is off the top of my head, we're, we're just uh, this, we're going to be doing a lot of different things, but we're going to certainly be looking at wild edibles. We're going to be looking at animal tracking, which is also practical when we're talking about tracking people who are lost. Um, we're going to be talking about indigenous culture, spiritual, spirituality. Um, we're going to be talking about uh, experiential learning. How, how do we learn experientially? We're going to talk about how to find a good campsite, uh, campfire safety. Oh, I'm, the students are probably going to have um, a small uh, knife with them, and they're going to actually have to take, keep a journal where they're going to take uh, notes on things that they've looked at in the environment, just like some of the earliest uh, explorers into North America. They actually kept journals, and these, they wrote in the journals, they sketched in the journals. Friction fire. I'm going to teach uh, students, my students, how to make friction fire, fire with two sticks. It is possible, but they're going to learn how to do that. The basics of survival. Um, if you get lost, what do you do? How do you handle yourself? Uh, you know, what, what are your, what, what's up against you? What, what are your obstacles? Um, so some of these are, are, are certainly going to be there. But principally, by the end of the course, I want them to know what, how native peoples see the world. And also, I think how, how important it is, how indigenous peoples are important. Um, we have a voice, a very small voice. We're only about 1% of the population today, but we have a lot of things that we can teach the world about our, our traditional ecology, our traditional way of seeing the world. The way I like to teach is a traditional indigenous way of teaching. Um, it's called an experiential uh, ways of learning. And it's interesting because in the two worlds, there's the Western world and then there's the indigenous world in my mind. And um, certainly you can walk in both, but if you get the best out of both, that's when you really can, can um, make the most of educating yourself and make the most of life in general.